I'm pretty sure we went in this direction. It may have been that bench. We're looking for the place where Magnus asked me to be his helper during the World Championship match against Anand. Magnus Carlsen, this is his first World Championship match. You're still losing, Mr. Hammer. You are still completely busted here. I first met Magnus at the fall of 2000. Everyone was busting about Magnus and how he was the next great thing. But I beat Magnus in our first ever game in January of 2013. And that's when this story begins. Uh, I got an invite to play at the first edition of the Norway Chess Tournament. Uh, competing against the very, very best in the world. At the time, I was ranked like number 200 in the world, 150, and I would be going up against top 10 players. Of course, I said yes to the challenge. Uh, it didn't go very well. I made one and a half points out of nine, which is a horrible score. But what happened is that Magnus called me and uh, he said, can you meet up? I have a question for you. I'm pretty sure it was in here somewhere. This is the spot. Yeah, I, th I think this is it. I was not expecting what Magnus uh, had come to say. He told me he wanted me to be not only his helper, for the world championship match but he actually wanted me to coordinate the whole work to be like the chief helper if i were to become world champion that would be great magnus carlsen part of the mozart of chess back then i sort of felt that i was really scraping by like it's probably time to get a full-time second he was playing his first world championship match against the great Vichy Anand. Magnus Carlsen chooses you, and only you, his childhood friend from Norway. With no experience. We are moments away from the world championship match. A team of grandmasters knows everything about Magnus Carlsen. And they're off. Was it a good decision? Was it a little bit naive? Or, or how do you feel about it? Um, I don't know if it was a great decision. If I was going to have a team, uh, I wanted to be somebody who I actually knew well uh, and had known for, for many years. I can recall just looking at a chart of the world ranking, wondering, hmm, who can we get? And uh, we landed on Lokal Fresine, who to this day is a part of, of Magnus's team. And we also got uh, Pavel Elyanov. As the chief, uh, I would kind of say, okay, you do this, you do this, I'll do this. And then, you know, bundle it together and send it over to, to Magnus. I didn't speak to Magnus. I just sent him an email, quite a long email, an essay, really. The first few games were a little bit shaky or a lot shaky. That was huge pressure. It was as if the brain was just spinning instead of working properly. There was no doubt that Magnus was the strongest player, but a match situation was pretty new to him. And also facing the amount of like opponent's work was also intimidating. We'd spend very little time working on our uh, white games because we basically thought I'd play something as white and it will be, will be fine. Magnus credited us quite a bit with the Berlin opening. It just worked really, really well. And, and Magnus was able to win uh, some games with white, but, but also he managed to held, uh, hold his own in the black games, which was basically our task. Junelik and uh, the others certainly did, uh, did a good job. When Magnus played that final game, I was so tired. I'm so happy I went to India. It's, it's my only time in India. I was there for like 30 hours. It was a very spectacular 30 hours.